One second, gotta get your guys' little spaceship token. Uh, has everyone got all the equipment you guys needed for the next mission? You guys are heading off to the Rogue Trader, if I remember correctly, to assist with dealing with <clears throat> a renegade space marine group. I was taking them a Rogue Trader vessel. You're yeah. currently on the watchtower, assembling for this mission. All right. And Moth, you're pretty sure I'm good. You're good. You bring your yeah, best. Pretty sure. I can bring additional forces, yell mug yourself, or no. Okay. Can we bring additional forces? Uh, he can. He has a watchtower. He can. He literally has access to those forces. Ah, yeah, right. This is a mission for a separate watchtower. Got it. You, well, I mean, your watchtower, you, you can requisition your squads if you wanted to. Yeah, remember we were requisitioning gear and stuff before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a difference between, like, small gear and personnel. Yep. Especially since I just requisitioned a whole bunch of stuff for a suicide mission. And a lot of that did die. Uh, a good, good chunk of your forces died in that mission, yes. All for good reason, though. I've been pretty bad that Void Dragon got possessed. Void Dragon. Yeah, it's sleeping in the in the the planet itself they're doing a ritual to basically possess it with the demon prince that they had. Unfortunately, Yelmug's death squad team uh, captured that entity and prevented it from going back into the warp. Because they would just uh -huh. possess another host and then possess that thing. So they're trying to make it not do that. Yeah. Imagine a being a dragon ha and having to possess a host. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, I'll find a spaceship token. What was your search up in there? Let's see if we can find that for you exactly. Ah, oh, here's something. That's enough. And then I'll bring you guys to this map. Bring you guys here. Hold up. This new UI interface fucking sucks. That's how I do. Okay, yeah, I remember now. Okay. Oh. One second. Can you see this token? It's fucking you, tiny uh, and it's in the middle of nowhere. Did you draw our attention to it? I don't believe so. There it is. Yeah, bottom right. <laughs> so you're currently just outside the the watchtower still. In a Y wing fighter from Star Wars. Not a Y wing. Oh, no Y wing. It's Moth Frigate. Go to journal. Ah, right. Dawn Ray. Dawn Rap. Oh, finally. Okay, there it is. The servers must be slow as freaking molasses.
available by all players. There you go. You should now have control of that thing now. So, when you guys are ready to leave, let me know, and then we'll we'll send you off to your missing destination. You're supposed to you're supposed to rendezvous at the Inquisitor's HQ, link up with him, and then he'll proceed to give you information on the Renegade Space Marine forces you have to deal with, because they again take in hold of a rogue trader vessel, and then once you assassinate him. And bring that vessel back to the uh, you know, the fold. So before we embark, are we going to? Is this going to be a stealth mission, or now I know we can approach it however we want, which is why I'm asking you, get you guys. Get more points for stealthing. Okay. It's not a... So. Because it's an objective, not a requirement. So in that case, I'm not going to take the the dreadnought in and we'll just call it in in case uh, the stealth goes sideways. So you're, putting, you're leaving the hangar bay in the ship then? Leaving the who at the what? Moth installed a bay to launch your guy. You're going to oh. leave him in the vessel then? Yes. Yeah, we can, we can leave him on the ship for emergencies. Yeah, so you'll have basically a base of operations when you're in their sector. Because you'll be the only responding force in that area to deal with this. All right. Any other things you would do before you guys leave? Because once you leave, you'd be 90 years in the future. All right. I mean, if if you'll let me do one more thing with more fate points, then sure. No, yeah, you all got a fresh set of fate points, yes. Well, oh, wait. I, uh, a, whole, a couple of people burned their permanent. Yes. Who did that. It wasn't permanently, it was... Not for this, for this mission. session. I think as that far was... as I was aware, it was just this session. Yeah. Or the yeah. starting session. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, if I could do more with even more fate points, then sure, I still got three left. Did you burn burn yours for this mission? Last, last session? A couple. Okay. How many do you have left? Three. Damn. Okay. I have six fate points total. Oh, ah. I, yeah, you can use them. I mean, if I could grab another melt the shotgun, put a twin link on my other melt the shotgun with it, and have a double barrel shotgun, that'd be great. You'd be able to. You're still at the watchtower, so they have access to that stuff. I imagine that's not uber rare technology. And it'd be aboard your vessel as well, so. Well, I'll do that. <clears throat> All right, we ready? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. All right. Any other last minute things? Nope. Okay, you good, Moff? Yeah, just wondering what the stats for this would be. Would I double the the dice, and that's it. Or would I also double the plus four? Imagine act as a secondary weapon. Well, twin linking it makes it so they fire at the same time. Oh, um, yeah, roll both dice. Uh, there was a rule for that. I need to find it. I think it just gives you like an extra dice. Yeah. Okay, uh, there you go. Uh, you gain a bonus, you gain other stuff, and you get an extra die. <clears throat> nice.
When you guys are ready, let me know. We'll start the engagement. I'm ready. Uh, who's who's commanding this the vessel? Is it gonna be Moth, or you leave it to your commander? Uh, I'll leave it to the captain of the ship to captain the ship. Okay, so I'll take direct control of any combat that ensues. Okay. Oh, uh, if need be. Unless somebody else wants to. Uh, if need be, I can pilot the ship, and if need be, I can assist with piloting it. But yeah. Okay. And you guys are given the planet and the coordinates to go to, uh, to meet up with them, to meet up with the Inquisitor, and then he'll give you the the briefing once you're in the local system. All you know that he needs additional forces because of the the threat of the Space Marine ship. Okay. So you're giving, issuing the command to warp moth. Yep. Okay. You guys traverse through the warp, and out the other end, you come to the the system. Man, the system has a name. Give me one second. At least I think I gave it a name. Not give. Oh well, whatever. Uh, you've, you, you make it to the edge of the Imperium, uh, to link up with the Inquisitor, Inquisitor Octavius Cornevis. Um, you guys feel sort of strange going through the, the warp this time, a little bit different. Yelma, would your character know of any changes though? And the warp like that, being time displaced or oh. it's a psyker. Yeah. Very powerful one. Yeah, yeah. And I can always just use center science to uh, ensure that I know. Yep. Okay, feels so different. Your, your character feels different uh, through this warp. You feel that you need to talk to the navigator. About what happened, what just transpired. So you've been through many, 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 many warping of of ships and whatnot. And this one felt like some something happened that was unintended. Cool. I hop on the comm and go. Navigator, report that something just occur. Something feels off. And uh. Yeah, he informs you that there was an anomaly uh, traversing through the warp, and they arrived sometime in the future. Uh, he can't pinpoint the estimated time. He can give a general guess. He, he guessed 100 years. So they'd have to do analysis. Oh, wonderful. Hopefully that space marine will have killed himself, and our mission will be finished by the time we get there. <laughs> Right. Uh, and as you guys appear on the other side, You guys see these in the distance. Oh, great. Necrons. I'm assuming your you? ships. I'm sure. I'm assuming. Yeah, there's 16. Uh, your your ship indicates there's 16 vessels. Uh, I'm assuming your stealth there, Moth. Your ship your ship had yep. a stealth there. Okay. Yes. So are you ordering to get closer to investigate these things to go around them? They are actually 
directly above the plant you guys are supposed to be going to. And they seem to be just on... Your captain informs you it seems to be a routine patrol of some kind. We'll definitely keep out of their path. Right. And I tell you, they're definitely not Imperium. They've never seen any vessels like this. There's no, nothing in the logs that they know of. No known vessel. Or unknown vessel types. Are you going to engage? Are you going to go around them? Go right. around them. Okay. Now, are you guys... How are you guys going to get to the planet now? So you guys can do insertion. You guys are going to land the ship directly. You guys are just going to send transports down. I was going to leave that up to you. How you, how you gonna get to the uh, headquarters? What if we do reconnaissance first? Want to do reconnaissance first? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Especially since we're we know we're in the future now. Do a planetary scan. Maybe. The ship's capable of it. Science officer, that might give our position away. And do a passive scan. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? Look, the captain the captain <laughs> says I can send a I can send a scouting team down. How many people do we have? You have the entire vessel and its crew. Plus uh, your ships. Approximately how many would that be? I'm gonna go look up. We actually have the stats of the Dawn Wrath. Let me go look it up. Also, I can just teleport us anywhere within 140 kilometers. Yeah. Yes, I, but you can do that, but we don't I, know where we're going, so Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just saying, like, once we're there, like we don't have to like risk a ship going down or something. You do know where you're when going. Go. You do have the coordinates to the headquarters. You have no idea. Yes, hundred years ago. Right. What are we guys doing? Sending some recon teams down, yeah? Okay. Yep. Okay. We'll do a GM roll. How many are you going to send down? How many people Pencil. do we have available? Um, Captain informs you you have at least uh, 100 available scouts and four craft to do these scouting. No, that, that, yeah, stealth. That can stealthily do what you need to do. Because you have a second class, and I believe that has thousands of thousands of crew members. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, they have a hundred scouts, hundred plus scouts, plus four craft to transport these guys. I'm thinking two teams of twenty. Yeah, I think that's going to be good enough. We keep a half of our forces at, on the ship. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I concur. And then you have about a thousand guardsmen. Nobody Just asked you, rookie. Just a thousand raw <laughs> guardsmen. Okay. The hundred guys are the your like would be your special forces dudes. Okay. So the, so what are you saying? The first squad, and what are you saying? The second squad. First squad is going to the old coordinates. Second squad is going to see what else has changed around the area. Okay. So the first squad reports back that the old facility is there. It looks to be overgrown. And hasn't seen Imperium uh, activity in quite some time. And the second squad. Let me do their rolls. You don't hear from. You hear initially they're scouting the perimeter of the of the world, and then they go radio silent. Uh oh. Wait. So what? What did they say again? They're initially going to scan the perimeter of the base. The first team was mm -hmm. going to go to the facility itself. 
the first team is on the outside of the, of the the rendezvous point. The other team scouted the initial surrounding areas. And that was the last transmission you got, is that they were going to do that. Mm, and you have not could, heard from them since. Could be interference, <laughs> question mark. I should probably wait about a day before we do anything. Well, we do have the first scout team that can report on... Oh, well, I don't know. I guess, yeah, we probably should give them time. You want them to go inside the facility itself? Because they're on the outskirts. I mean, can they enter a vantage point or find a lookout point to that? They're on, they're on a hill just overlooking the base when they came up to here. So they, they proceed through the forest, the jungle, from their LZ. And they're overlooking the base now. And they're looking at the perimeter. They don't see any any signs of activity. They just see uh, what's be signs of an old battle, they tell you. And it looks like overgrown, the forest is starting to take over the facility itself. Hmm. Old battle. Have a watch for a few hours, then investigate inside. Okay. In the meantime, you're going to still stay in orbit? Let's see if Karnoft knows something about this. Okay. Uh, In the lore, uh, there is a a Xeno species called the Hrud. Uh, They uh, basically manipulate time to accelerate it by a bunch. So, uh, it may cause signs of like, like you know, something being old when it really isn't. Uh, so that could potentially be something, but it also can be because we're a hundred years in the future. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Chances are, well, else your guy. Our mission. Yeah, yeah. So the, the way they describe the base and the, the ships you see it doesn't point to that. From your, from at least your knowledge of what these vessels look like, what you guys have actually seen, do these look like a little bit technological, a little bit bio, bi- biological? They're uh, it's the Borg, metallic smooth. Okay. <laughs> oh, smooth metallic. This definitely not the Borg. Yeah. Everybody, it's it's make metallic. Those. Yeah, it's metallic but organic looking at the same time. Metallic but organic looking. Uh, let's. Uh, okay. Do I know? I... We have no Do idea. Do I what know? Are. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, two point five. She. Yeah. You you have no idea. You're scanning through all records. You're going through all. I'm assuming you're going to the library, looking up these things, data entry. You have no clue er, either, Eric Ladies. Seems to be unknown. Whatever this species is, seems to be lost to time, or you have no clue what the hell they are. Because it's not any of the no- big boys. It's not Necrons. It's not. Um, I know precisely what they are. They are bullet receptacles. They just don't know it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. That's all you know about them. Ooh. And you don't even know if they're hostile, but you're assuming they're hostile because they're very alien. Before we left, apparently I got an implant with um, secret forbidden lore installed. I have mastery on all forbidden lores. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, you I just now remembered this since it's uh, convenient. <laughs> I suck at rolling it anyway. <laughs> well, if you, if you got it, you wouldn't know what this is. So whatever this is, you have no clue. So... But your guess, since you rolled a negative, you think it's Necrons. You're actually actually almost certain they're Necrons. So that means it's not Necrons. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm the one capturing the ship. Those are fucking Necrons. Yeah, we obviously saw Necron ships on outside of the planet. You know, <laughs> they're obviously Necrons on, on the surface. Obviously. That means there's a... This is a tomb world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which means that oh, the headquarters 
from the scout party. So no, your guys would know. Much for Necrons. Well, Ma thinks it's Necron. You guys that succeeded looking at these things know they're not Necrons. So, your it's, character would have conflicting this with him. Is Moth's character going to say out loud that uh, she thinks it's Necrons? I would assume he Yeah, I've even told you to inform the scout parties that this is Necrons. This is possible to uh, inform. Watch for Necrons. Is anyone no, going to correct, uh... Uh... What's your character's name again? Brizora. 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 I, I point out a few flaws in that logic. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. vague. I assist. <laughs> also pointing out a few more flaws in her logic. Right, so you basically inform her that though they are metallic and, and all that, and they're very, very different, like the very design of these vessels. There's no no Necron vessel like this. Uh, they seem to be... They seem to morph and do other weird things that Necron ships don't generally do. I presume we have data slates that contain some Xeno information. And I just well, on, 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 on Necrons, yeah. You, in every, you're, you're go, you guys have been going through it. As, those are the little lore checks you guys have been doing. Ship records, Imper uh, Imperial records, nothing. You, you guys... Those. I just scrolled down and like, showed her the picture. Like, here, here's the Necron. That's the <laughs> Necron. Yeah, Necrons I, have big triangle ships. These are like, like uh, whatever the hell they are. Crabs. Horseshoe crabs. Every time I look at the ships on the uh, in the distance, a little pop up shows up in my vision. It's like <clears> that's a Necron. <laughs> uh, you could do another check with a plus twenty moth of this uh, information that sure. you've been now enlightened with. Hey, hey. nice! I oh, did you're roll an eighty-five this time. You're in accordance with them that they're not Necrons, and you might have a vague idea what these are, but you're not entirely sure. Well, I was totally sure that they were Necrons when they weren't. So right, so, idea? so your vague idea is they're some, some sort of ancient race long forgotten. You read in some obscure textbook. You don't have much information other than that. I, I have a feeling that... downloaded into my brain. I, Whatever, but that's that's what you get. You get a vague, you get you get a brief, brief descriptions. It seems to be long forgotten. The, the information is long, long forgotten by, by the Imperium of Man. I I have a feeling that our GM doesn't even completely know what these things are. Oh, I do. I actually have an ah, entire description. Okay. Got it. Got it. Oh. I do. I actually do. So I mean, I he can does. There's it. just no logical reason we would know what they are. Right. So yeah. I can give you a name if you want a name. <clears throat> Because a 4.5 is pretty high. The Cervax. It's a 4.9, actually. Yeah, 4.9 Cervax. You get that's the only thing you can think of. Ah. There's a vague reference. All right, I make the little correction on my head then. Not Necron Cervax. You're Duh. funny. You're funny, Tesra. You came unprepared. No, I. This, <laughs> I had this thing entirely planned out. I never funny. said you came unprepared. I just. I just said that uh, it sounds like you don't even know what these things are. No, I know exactly what they are, and I'm going to okay. have fun with you guys with these things. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Because I'm assuming your guys are coming to the slow realization the plans have changed. What? Plans don't change. Ever. Right. Uh, what? The missions. Yeah. In fact... The plans didn't even change on the second mission of our entire campaign. Right. With the orcs. Why didn't change on the first mission of our entire campaign? Did it? Anyways. Oh yeah, because half the people died in the drop pod. Alright, continue, Boko. Sorry. Alright. So... Is she ordering the scout team to move in? The facility, or...? Uh, yeah, yeah. I had them scout outside for a few hours, just observe. If they saw nothing, then go in. And as far as they, going on. as far as they could see, and tell, there's no activity at all whatsoever surrounding the base, inside, or outside. Uh, there seems to be no active defensive structures. Um, 
Yeah, so they're going to be heading in. <laughs> Let me do the rules. Watch out for traps. So they they initially report back that they're going uh, in the facility, and it seems to be powered still somehow. <laughs> and that they made it to the the hangar bay where vehicles are at and various things. So there's vehicles there. They seem to be really poorly maintained, rusted out, long forgotten. And they're making their way into the base. That seems to have power. Um, they're reporting back strange sounds as they dive deeper. And then the, they too go radio silent. Well, they're probably dead. So, as far as you know, both those teams are, are MIA. And how many of those guys you sent down? 40? Yeah, 40 total. So you have 60 left. Do you want to send more down? Or you want to send people other elsewhere on the, on the planet? Why don't you just send me? Because I'm built out for stealth. Maybe that's not a good down idea. The scouting team. So well, you down to lead another scouting team? Yeah, we could do that. Maybe. Oh. I mean, we 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 know that something is happening there. Uh, yeah. And since it could also be just the communications are out, they might yeah. come back. We have right. really good uh, We also need to investigate the other areas so we can also and since we are uh, our uh, ship is cloaked at the moment we can just leave the crew the bare minimum crew and this is like uh, needed and then just deploy down there uh, or like a, a small squad we can deploy a small squad down there to uh, assess the situation and fight if need be like I said you have about a thousand guardsmen you can deploy anywhere so. I am slightly confused, though, as to why we're going to a castle on a planet instead of a spaceship in orbit like our original planet. Yeah. We're supposed to be boarding the Infernal you're Servant. Servant. No, no, you're supposed to be taking out a, a, a rogue trader vessel and assassinating him, right? You, you were yeah. rendezvousing with an Inquisitor at this HQ location. Yes. Aha, got To you. then get in... Ah. Yeah. He would then give you the local information and possibly location of where he's at. I assumed we were already at the uh, Inquisitor. No. No. Okay. You're at your watchtower. You warped to the sector. You're now yeah. 90 years into the future. And things, plans changed. We would also probably need someone good with tech if we want to extract any data from the facility that might be of use. Right. So, yeah, your last known rendezvous is that facility where the Inquisitor would be. And he would technically still be alive since he is a cyborg, essentially. Right? So he's all about tech. So as far as you guys are aware, he could still be alive if he hasn't been killed in combat. Because he was already, like, 200 plus years on record. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, this goes for a uh, a, a drop pod situation. You guys gonna or, drop pod in there, or or like some stealth, stealth, stealthy way of getting down there? I don't know. I mean, you still have those vessels; they just dropped or... the squads off and came back. We don't want to use the. We don't want to use that yet. We can do that to get back to the ship. Okay. Say again, Yamug. Okay. No, no. What did you say? I said okay. <laughs> do keep in mind, drop pods. Before are, that. Probably unrecoverable. I said gate, and then he you said no, gate, yes. and I said okay. <laughs> How many times oh. can you gate a session? Uh, I can do it as many times per session as I want. It's just I have like twelve hour cooldown. Ah, okay, twelve hours. 
I would probably save them. Then. That's good to know, right? Um, yeah. First and foremost, I think we should give the uh, scout teams a couple of more hours to respond. So, or you guys, how long, how long are you going to wait? Hours-wise? I say six to a day. That's just me. You're the captain. You can just tell them whatever. So, uh, who who was the captain of the of the actual mission though? Who was getting the who was given the bonus to the Space Marines? I don't know. I don't, we, we didn't select one. Yeah, I know. That's what I was gonna say. So we weren't all all ready. Well, mission parameters have changed slightly anyway. So. Mm. Slightly, we don't even know the implications of this yet. No, man, we're still assassinating that guy. It doesn't matter if he's a hundred year old skeleton. Yeah, Pop true. In his brain, done. He's true the new emperor. Fuck it, we're assassinating him. <laughs> so, while you're thinking of that, uh, how long are you gonna wait again? Moth, a day? At most a day. Okay, so you wait. You wait the full day. No word from them yet, and the ships that the 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 uh, dropships that release these teams, they're telling you they've they have no not heard from the teams either locally on local channels. All right, call back the dropships then. Okay. Teams assumed dead. Presumed. Yeah. So they, yeah. So the way they deployed their forces is they they sent you know a squad of five out on each one, and the rest were guarding the AO. So you didn't lose everyone, but as far as you guys are concerned, you lost ten guys. Forty. No, no, no. Uh, not all twenty deployed at once. Oh, a couple okay. of them were guarding the AO, the the dropships, and five a squad, just single squads, went out. So you lost. About ten guys and boop gone. Okay, that's good. Have the other scouts reported anything? No, both squads that went out to actually do the recon have not reported back. One the first team that went missing reported that they were gonna scan the initial area around the Remember the base and had not reported back. The first team that did report back that they're on the outskirts of the base and then go consequently going into the base, the, that five man squad has also been uh, unresponsive. They did say they reported strange noises before there. Yep, that was the last, the last comms they got. They heard strange noises and boop, gone. This is what? I think figure you get that one, right? Oh god. That was a good mission. Yeah. I'm assuming that's a Halo reference, which is why it went yep, Halo far over my head. Yeah, that what I just did to your scout team was what happened in Halo. They sent a scout team into a facility and they went AFK. Essentially. AFK. And that's yeah, they they step away from the keyboards <laughs> momentarily. They'll be back though. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what they did? They were gone for more than fifteen minutes. They got logged out. Uh, it's Johnson, <laughs> Sergeant Johnson was AFK for a little while. He came out alive on that one. He came back. And he survived a Halo ring blowing up in his face. Yeah, he survived all up to Halo Three. No, AFK is just the Warhammer 40k equivalent of uh, MIA. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. anyways, uh, but yeah, and that one, uh, uh, uh Tesseract, yeah, that was a, um, the pivotal moment in Halo when they introduced the Flood as the main villain. Like, probably one of the best intros to a, an adversary in a game. Because up until that point, you're fighting purple space aliens shooting lasers yeah. at you. Goofy little grunts that scream and run away from you when you run up to them. And then, Man, I'm sorry, Borg! Right, and then it turned into a horror film. Are are grunts really just Imperial Guardsmen by another name? No. Uh, no. Guardsmen don't run away. Oh uh, yeah, true. Are you sure? 
Yeah. <laughs> but, well, they get shot if they run away. Grunts don't. They just get yelled at. They're like, what are you doing? So, what? Oh, fuck if you. there is someone left to shoot at them. All right. Um, yeah. So what are you? What are you I guys? Mean, at going that point, they're dead anyway, so what's the matter? So what are you guys gonna do? Uh, Captain, what are we doing? We waited a day. Man, any advice would be nice. What do you guys think? I think we should go in there. You can send me. I'm sorry. Who is talking which, right now? Which one of them <laughs> was talking? Yes. Uh, Rook and Teal. Rookie. Ah, oh. no, I. Okay. Uh, Rook, you I, found I, your I voice another, finally. For a Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what I, if? Uh, I found my voice a long time ago. Crazy idea. What if we drop pod the dreadnought in and just. Have yes. him crush the castle. Uh, However, do we need to? Sure. But don't we want? <clears throat> but don't we want to find out what happened to the team first? Uh, where are you guys having this being? You guys having it in the bridge? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah, maybe a sniper. Yeah. yeah, the captain. Kind of looks at you as like, uh, do you want to go loud with the, that armada uh, over the planet? No, that was a joke. Okay. Oh. No, yeah, yeah. He's just he's just asking, like, uh, he's overhearing your conversation, perking up. He's like, those ships look like they're looking for something. He's pointing out. Yeah, they are. They are only patrolling this planet, right? They have. They are. Hey, have they have been on the same I, patrol? Uh, yes, yeah. and uh, he's Captain Forms. He has any long range scans because he doesn't want to give away the your guys' position. Um, so he has no idea what else is in the sector. Do you have any information about any other Imperial locations in the sector? Captain Moldover is going through, um, not offhand, if we did, it would be at that HQ. So he tells you there's nothing on the sh ship, on board the ship's library whatsoever. Any information on any other Imperial bases that they, that they know of, any of that information would be probably in the Inquisitor's hands. So here's an idea. So the what if we They're cloak the, the Dreadnought drop pod? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't think we could do that. <laughs> uh, Any correction here, the Dreadnought is an Iron Hands tech marine. He might be able to do something. Yeah, might be able to tech roll it. You guys gonna tech roll and see if we can do that? Sure. Oh God, don't break the cloaking generator. <laughs> but how are you going to cloak the the giant fireball falling to the sky thing? The, the, it'd be an invisible thing, but the fire around it would be visible. That you can't very can't, masterfully. You, it's impossible. Okay, okay. We get a camera and we record the area before the drop pod, and then we just play that on a loop. No, what? you put giant Almost. mirrors around the drop pod so that it reflect light from. <laughs> and they. <laughs> oh god, this Baby. roll. Hey guys, your dreadnought. It says just drop me into the fray. It'd be fine. It'd be very hard to detect a drop pod. Brothers, allow me to handle this. Just drop me in. Okay, it's recovery mission. We need to recover. Okay, yes, new mission we need priority. To recover, we need to recover yes. data from that base. Yes. I don't think we should drop the dreadnought in. It seems like yeah, a no, bad idea. It was a joke, people. <laughs> yeah, but so you gotta pick it up and run with it. Base. I know, you gotta pick it up and run with it, though. Gotta RP yeah. that shit. You know, it's even more undetectable than a glaring beacon falling from the sky. A gate. A killed. Are those ships forming into a Megatron? A giant Gundam yeah. ship? <laughs> yeah, that's what you see. You see them kind of conglomerating together. Oh no, 
There's one trying to get up. Move us slightly, please. Maybe somewhere over here. He says we're well outside any kind of known sensor range. Yes, no, known, okay, but we sure. don't know what these Those are. Those ships so are still doing something, away. aiming at us, so. No, you just see it kind of, all of them kind of like form together and form one massive vessel. And then, as you guys are watching that, you just see appears to be a giant blue beam come out of it and fire at the planet some, somewhere. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, I guess we don't really got to worry about it anymore. The <laughs> planet's gone. No, you don't see the planet gone. You just see basically like a glassy particular spot on the planet somewhere. Must have been infested with blood. Damn covenant. <laughs> it's but the Protoss are cleansing the planet of Zerg. Yes. Yeah, what's the difference? Both are really just nut jobs. Oh, is that true? Yes. Um, Infinity Gate allows us to get back easily. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, because the gate mm -hmm. maintains. We, we can miles. always go down to the surface in a plethora of ways, but going back up is much more difficult. Well, the, your your special forces team had no problem. They tell you uh, they didn't see anything anti-air of any kind. They saw no patrols or any weird craft, as far as I could tell. The people we sent down in scouting were what guardsmen. Uh, special forces, yeah. So they're like your most elite scouting vest uh, troops out there. Mm, to the best of science. But not Space Marine Scouts. Not yes. Space Marine Scouts, no. But they'd be elite among the Guardsmen. Alright, let's just take a ship down. Yeah. yeah. May you as well. You going to bring Guardsmen with you, or are you guys going to go as yourselves? I mean, they can come down and hold the ship, but... That'd be about all I can see us really using them for. Yeah. Okay. We don't we don't need meat shields everywhere we go. Yeah. Well, yeah, they uh the 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 pilot that went down there, the first squad, he says I can get you right into the actual hangar. Uh we they're actually able they were actually able to open it and land the craft up in there. So all right. Characters in the field. Let's see. Boop, boop. There are Clades. Uh, let's see who we're missing. Uh, Karnoth. Uh, what was your name again there? Uh, Rook, right? Rookiel? Yeah, Severe Low Rookiel. Or Rookie, oh, for sure. Yep. And then Moth is... What's yours again, Moth? Rosora Yeah. Are you going to go with them, or are you going to stay aboard the vessel? I'll go with them. Try out my new shotguns. Okay, be able to see yourselves now. Yeah. Oh my God, it's gonna—it's 22 miles across oh. this one plane. It's gonna take us so long to travel. Now. That's so silly. Oh. No, it's a lowercase M with no I, so it's me. It wasn't M I. It wasn't in my. Let's get the other uh, map. The, the space map was in miles. No. Um, I see. I it's stand corrected. What did you expect? It's what? Oh wait, this is a hangar. Smaller oh, ships. Oh, Goddamn, I was thinking we're in. Smaller ships. Yeah, your tanks is what I expected. No, there's a. Uh, 
So your drop ship is gonna. Here, I'll mark it. So your drop ship is this right here. They just landed. So. And they tell you they're they're gonna stand by. So that's your guys's. The rest are all rusted out, old, decayed vessels. It looks like there has not been any activity in this facility for quite some time. Uh, you see remnants of skeletons, battle scars of some kind. Human skeletons? Yeah, human skeletons strewn throughout in various positions. Blackened, charred, bleached mm -hmm. white. Are you, you're examining the skeleton remains to see if it's black and charred? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's charred. You see them all charred and cindered. As if a high-energy beam of some kind hit these guys. Hmm, I wonder what beam that could have been. Maybe it was the giant one fired by that ship that transformed into larger ships. Or smaller beams shot by yeah. smaller individuals. Infantry. Oh. How about that, huh? It'd be amazing technology if a ship that large could pinpoint individual targets like that for being that big. Yeah, you'd be screwed, <laughs> right. right? Oh, man. All right, so you guys are in the hangar bay. Uh, so, feel free to explore as needed. It's almost like that one time in Star Trek where they used the ship's phasers to knock out an entire city with the stun beam. But that was way too overpowered, so they never did it again, ever. That one time at band camp? What are you talking about? Star Trek only ever uses science and never space magic. Right? Has science gone too far? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to speak heresy here, but... You heard about the Emperor? Uh, oh yeah, then why is it called a dark age of technology, huh? Because it's a dark age of technology. Huh. 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 Sci-fi Pidgey, I choose you. <laughs> Go scout. Oh, is that the uh, oh, need... wizard, shared vision wizard? Yeah, let me get a shared vision wizard out. I need to see him as a character. That's what I need to do. I don't know why I didn't Whoa. do that. <clears throat> That's kind of cool. Let's get that guy. And this is going to be your... Uh... There you go. And he should have. Let me give him vision two. His vision, and then there you go. Is that thing animated? Yes. Yeah. Fancy. That's, some, that's something Damn. new they added. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. There's your shared vision, Ogre. Uh, what thing are we looking at? The shared vision, Ogre. Oh, I don't even see it. Uh, It doesn't share vision. It doesn't share... I can just oh. see the token. It shares for me. It shares for me. Control oh, hold up. Let's see. It's just controlled by all. Uh, yeah, you should you should be able to see it. I don't see the sprite. I will drop it on top of us. Oh, oh, oh it it does. It's just very faint. The the light it emits is just. Very yeah. I, I see. I see. Yep. I don't see the token itself though. It's on the left where I'm pinging. Yeah, I I literally don't see it. Like it's not mm. on my screen. Did hey, you reload uh, Road Twenty? No. I suppose All I'll right. do that.
No, maybe I'm not. I'm not seeing the, it. Maybe you need to turn on the beta features. Beta features. Uh, what I already did that. Let's see. Is it even still active? Beta features is on. I don't know. Ah, uh, graphics enable animated graphics. How about that? Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, it's turned on. Yeah, but the issue is just he doesn't see the token itself, so... Right. It might be because, uh... Whatever this Fog of War is, it's still blocking the token for me. But it, it works for all three of us, though. Yeah, maybe, uh, Boko, uh... Didn't give me vision of it or something. Gave everyone They're controlled by all. Is his character a part of all? Is the animation uh, still playing for you guys right now? Is what? Is the animation of the ogre still playing for you right now? Nope, it stopped. Yeah, okay, so that is... Every, it's pause, every, play pause yeah. animation. I don't even see the thing still. It's moved to the left. If you, as, as long as you can see the vision, that's all that matters. Can you yeah. see the vision around it? Yeah, it's true. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's good. All right. Big if true. <laughs> Alright, Moth. Er, there you go. I can see that wall. That wall not... Oh, was that a door that we shouldn't have gone through? Oh. Oops. That's... I think this is bugged. Cause I actually put a wall up. No, no, it's it's fine. It's. it's... Can you see a wall? Oh well. Uh, yeah. I yes didn't see no. past it. Like the light stops, but it's a light shade that goes through it. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if that's because oh, the yes, vision wait, thing. Move it back. Move it back. Wait. Move. Move every, That's everything because we've unveiled the fog of war, yeah. so we can see behind it. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Uh, okay. Got it. Okay. Makes so this cool. is a door then too? Or a wall? It's a door. Okay. And the other one is also a door or is it a wall? It's a door. Okay. Which way are we going? The oh, doors are closing tighter and tighter around us. Oh my. Let's go open them. I click the button. Okay. The doors are in the walls! No, are. wait. Yep. Correct. <laughs> I think that was technically in the ceiling since it went up. Wait, can you see the rectangles of the lighting? What do you mean? Okay, no, that's enough then. Okay. Wait, it slides. It slides down. Is what you see. Slides down. Oh, yeah, sorry, it went more. into the floor, not the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get those confused sometimes. Okay. Most people confuse the left from the right. Or Sora confuses her up from her down. <laughs> How did she even survive thus far? Especially as a jump, jump pack. for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is this a door in front of us? Yeah, looks like it. I pushed it. I pushed the button to open the door. I look for a button to see if there even is a button. There's a button. Okay. Button the I presume, button. I presume nothing button. happens. Yes, yes, yeah. I pressed the button. Yes. Who buttons the nothing buttons? Nothing happen. Well, this must not go, Chief. There's the other one. We could That's always do chief. our door we, open special, but okay. We could. Yeah. Or let's try the other doors first, since we have no, no immediate direction to go. Just try the other way. I pressed the button. Oh, wait. Dead end. Nice. You see, it's, uh, it looked like it was a oh, supply shit. room of some sort. Uh, you see various communications. 
setups, weapons. Ooh. Let's investigate and see if there's like a terminal or something we can log into. Whoever has the highest tech, by all means. So you're looking for a terminal? Yeah. Okay. I technically ha I am trained in tech use, but I'm not very proficient. I will as try. As long as you can log in or hack in or anything. Okay. Let's see if I can hack in. No, no, not with your axe. Oh, Too bad. oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. I have 27 intelligence and I'm not trained in tech use, so my bad. Uh, I destroy one of the terminals. Oh, okay. Well, you don't see any terminals yet. You, uh, you see communication arrays. Yeah, you see, yeah, you see communications like uh, like dishes and such. You do see, however, it seems to be a pedestal with a button on it. There's various buttons on it. Oh, okay, so it's not a singular pedestal with a singular button. Air what if we all ooh, need to press ooh, all the buttons at once? Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Way, way too hard. Way oh too god. Hard. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's... there's a gun. No, it's oh right god. there. It's so that. There, so that is the pedestal mm. with the button on it. <laughs> Does this feel like it trapped anybody else? Yeah, it'll probably <laughs> activate gas from that grate right there. Why I'm else? Would put a button <laughs> in the grate? I'm gonna block the grate with my huge body. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's put a blanket over it. Is there a rug? Do we have those camo tarps? I'm going to uh, scrutinize the uh, grate to see if I can decipher anything about it. See, it's the uh, air ventilation. Oh, I was going to roll for that. Time. Big enough for multiple space marines to fit in, I presume. Oh, damn. That was a decent roll. Uh, so, what are you trying to discern? I'm trying to gather any information at all about this grate. Life support ventilation. That's Why would you need ventilation on a healthy atmosphere planet? It's a ventilation In grate. A it's their HVAC. So, exactly. There you go. You figured it out. <laughs> Uh, wait, but uh, the atmosphere is uh, is breathable, right? For the most part, uh, but this facility from when you came in looks like it can be it can be sealed, completely yeah. sealed into the mountain itself. So yeah, I mean yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, it's in a mountain. Okay. Yeah, and then yeah, I mean like the STCs, like you know, you there's a template for building stuff. So I guess they just built using a template. Okay. Uh, there, so Bluetooth, are you button. satisfied the this is isn't glowing, a gas trap? By the way. It's glowing. Yeah, the buttons on it are glowing, so the panel looks like it's working. Are, is there anything else? Is there a are they labeled? Just plays? Yeah. yeah, but it, uh, it's very worn. You can't make out what it's saying. Can I do another so scrutiny check to try like and decipher many... the lettering? Yeah, Moth, you've used terminals like this various times. You definitely know this is to summon a control console. You have something similar in one of your Inquisitor bases on another world. Alright, then I'll summon the console. Assuming I know how to hit the buttons right. Yeah, I, uh, yep. I'm going to look at the layout and see. Uh, so yeah, you need to press that button, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I press the button, was it this one? Yeah, Ma Moth vaguely knew what it was because it's an in it's an inquisitorial setup, uh, all this stuff. Uh, but ah. it looks a mo little more advanced. Seems to be in line with the inquisitor you vaguely heard of, Moth. This so. guy was big into tech, so. Yep. So you just see this thing. He's got fancy pop. shit. You see this thing just pop out of the wall, and a terminal will come up. I look at the terminal. Let's see. Okay. I know well, which buttons to press. So what are you guys looking for? This seems uh, to be general access. But it's past locked. You know that much. 
Can we hack it? I, I attempt one. Uh, I I wrote one point six. Can I attempt to uh, hack it once? <clears throat> well, you Let's definitely know it's an inquisitorial system. So inquisitors or anyone that that ooh, ooh. facility Is there or that realm. Or any uh, sort of input port or something like that or something. Yeah, there's a there's a uh, right on the terminal. It literally seems to be a hand scanner. There's a USB port, a USB A no, port. There's, David. there's literally a hand scanner <laughs> on 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 the device itself. I wonder. Your I character. My glove and put it on the hand scanner. Well, I mean, your character would know that it's Inquisitors. So it's like a, a, a as uh, need to know. So you may or may not have access to this depending on, like, where your Inquisitor puts you on the hierarchy of things. You're just a throne agent, so you put your hand on it, and it tells you access denied. Fair enough. But we tried one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Let me try. I'm sorry, it's a seven-digit password. Six, seven. <laughs> oh. So you're gonna try to tech use it, hack it, or see if there's a way to hack it? Uh, I'm trying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so yes. no, so you have to start with zero, this, zero, zero, no direct, zero, zero, one. Direct, direct input for you to touch, other than that hand scanner. Uh, so looking at this, and and with moth knowledge, moth knowledge, you know, you need to get past the actual access port to gain access to integrating into the machine spirit. With this, with this particular. Inquisitorial uh, console. So you Can need. The... Perhaps the hand scanner works for uh, any of the uh, members of the Inquisition. You could just try it, Brasora. Oh. He already did. Oh. I mean, uh, we, we can always come back to this. We haven't explored the facility yet. Maybe yeah. we can find some. I walk over and place my gauntlet upon it. Did it work? No. I'm just glad he didn't. Now did it work? Access denied. Okay, just thought I'd give it a try. I put I'm my hand on the tried. scanner oh, as well. <laughs> I am Spartacus. <laughs> <laughs> well, Moth, as far as you're aware, uh, it's uh, it's security locked. Probably the Inquisitor and his uh, immediate uh, subordinates. So you need the basically. You drive, you need the Inquisitor to access this particular terminal. Because all okay. other people will probably be long dead. At least what you're thinking. Yeah, so. yeah. because uh, we also can't use one of the corpse's hands because they're skeletons now. <laughs> well, how do you know how the <laughs> uh, hand scanner works? Just that. Maybe that instead of detecting the uh, pattern of skin on their hand, it detects the bone underneath. You never know. Can we try to use a dead person's do you do, hand? You guys go for it. Here, I I have a I have the dead man's hand. Let's give this and a moth, shot. You just carry that around with you. Yes. Yeah. So moth, you know. Also no, know, I pulled it off of this guy. Uh, trying to hack into a quizzer and terminal would be a fool's fool's errand, because it, it has fail safes, and if you mess up. It could kill you all. Blow. Oh. Kill yeah, you all. I, I should probably let them know this thing has a tendency to uh, have explosive denial. Car right. <laughs> if you try to hack it. So far, you're just trying to access it. So uh, you're not sure if they have fail states for X amount of hacking. It does something. You have no clue. I'd I also imagine a number of failures will eventually result in it being locked for a while. Yeah. Yes. Carnal glances at the terminal popping out of the you know, the wall looks down at the the grate and the the huge uh, space marine sized uh, ventilation, but also leads in the same direction. Could there possibly be? Could can, like can I deduce whether there's anything that could be hidden in that direction if we are to follow this? I do scrutiny. Uh. Uh, it's a trap door you, that drops you, us you into a shark tank. You might be able to go tank. in the tunnel. You have, you have no idea where it would lead to. Uh, 
looking at in the grates, you see that it does veer off in, the, uh, in this direction. Off to the left. We can, kinda, well, we we can, can scout ahead with the little bird thing. Sure. I, I, uh, Karnoff rips, uh, attempts to repel the grate. It comes apart easily. Okay. I think a fork grate would be a little stronger than okay. that. So in the meantime, damn. I think. Uh, he well, I mean, with Car Car Carlos is a giant. Carlos is a giant space marine moth. These guys like super strong. This is the floor grate that's not reinforced or armored in any way. You're not even gonna. His character... It's also 100 years old and hasn't been maintained. It yeah, yeah, yeah. Long. So mm -hmm. his character easily just rips it up, opens it. I was gonna so. say you're not gonna do a toughness check in case there's a critical fail because that might be funny. No, there's it's oh. it's actually exceedingly easy. Uh -huh. For his character, it just basically falls apart as he's pulling it out of the ground. The concrete and the metal, all that just come with it. He's not holding a grate in his hands. Yes, Virlo. Speaking of checks, I glad to restore. We can go back to that door and attempt to open it while they, uh, while the uh, the Psyker sends the the the, the, the funny raven down the thing. Oh, I was going to look around here to see if there's another console that's not Inquisitor only access. But sure, we can go open another door. So you send the bird in, yeah, mug. Your bird flies around the ventilations. It's a very short distance. It looks like it goes to nowhere, dead end, basically. So right there. <laughs> no, it goes to a dead end, from what you see. Uh, the what the bird sees. That's uh, it. Yeah, it it it's an air ventilation system. It goes it goes to a smaller, couple smaller pipes that lead to God knows where. Oh, it oh no, okay, so not I'm an sorry, actual I mean, dead end. end. Not a dead end. Or just inaccessible yes. pipes. Got it. For inaccessible pipes to you guys. It, the yeah. bird can't fit through them. So it is just AC, essentially, or or uh, life support mm -hmm. systems for the base. What, no giant spinning fan blades to kill the bird? Oh, what a Oh, house. god damn it. What a bummer. Mm hmm. So it comes back up, and that's all it sees. So you guys going to try the door again? Uh, before we do that, can I look around here to see if there's... The console had multiple buttons, right? Yes. Do I know if any of the other buttons will summon other consoles? So, looking at the button panel... Uh... This looks like a general control... Do you go ahead and do an intelligence check. Oh, oh that's going to go well. <laughs> okay. Because your character have seen, has seen this before in other other uh, inquisitorial bases. So do I get a bonus then? Yeah, a plus twenty. I can also like, uh, oh, whatever. Uh, oh, you're dumb as a sack of potatoes. Yeah. I did my tech use and like you know, oh, you know, th those buttons can do these things. <laughs> you know, generally that there are buttons that control things. There, there's, there's, your character specifically has not seen anything. Like it, you know. It's in, you know. It's uh, we haven't seen this STL, this pattern. Uh, it's definitely inquisitorial. So, <clears throat> your character is deducing the best person to know anything would be Moss' character. Uh, what this panel is. So your Moth, your character, without he has no idea. You want to use a fate point? And try to reroll that one. You can spend can, some time looking at this panel some more. You know it's a control I, panel of some sort. Can I do a logic check to see, uh, try and discern anything about the buttons on the panel? Sure. All right. So logically, uh, looking at this button panel, you know, uh, you're deducing that this is a basically the control panel that gains access into the facility itself and does various tasks in the front end of the base. Ah. This is where Commander would be uh, offloading, unloading, sending orders uh, from the front. So it's like for basically the front end managers of the base. <coughs> Everyone, the base I've... Sealed. Yeah. I've deduced... You're, that's what you're deducing. I've deduced that this is the Windows control panel. Essentially, but anyways, um, windows. What's that? It's a sealed so, base. What are you talking about? 
Go ahead, give yourself a plus 40 moth. Wait, That's... why is there an apple on the screen? <laughs> <laughs> so give yourself a plus 40. What's what an apple? apple? <laughs> okay, so your, your character actually knows what's, what some of these buttons are. are. You see that they're generally, you're actually able to scrape out some of the dust around and deduce uh, on the panel, is one of them is the button to unlock that door. Oh, I poke it. Boop. Okay. We are creaking from the other end of the facility. Well, you know the door's unlocked. You see the button change from uh, a faint a red... A padlock to a green padlock with like yep. one little missing chunk? Not a padlock, but it goes from a faint red to, to a green. You see it switch. All right, doors unlocked. Excellent. You guys, you gonna look at any of the other equipment or weapons? Oh yeah, there were weapons in here, weren't they? Yeah. These hundred-year-old junk weapons are definitely worth our time. It's up to you. Uh, we can send them back to the guardsmen and the like. The guard, you got our, the guardsmen. Okay. The drop How about we look over them and see if they're normal bolters yeah. and stuff, or if yeah, they're anything they're good. strange? Yeah. They look like. Just regular bolters. There's some melted guns in there. A um, couple Ooh. space marine weapons too, apparently. Oh, that's strange. Right. Chaos space marine weapons? No. Okay. Even better, regular Astartes one. No, it um it has the emblem of somebody. Like someone wrote something on here, a new emblem. They scratched something out and they wrote an emblem on it. Ooh. Uh, and you're getting. Hold up. Let's hmm. see. As long as it still has the Empire's Aquila on it. It does. Good. Then it's so not you're... heretical. No. Just what are we inspecting so right now? I was going to say we should just throw them in the grate in that case. Uh, what, are, what are we inspecting right now? Space the Marine guns. weapon. Guns. Were the Space Marine guns or just regular guns? Yep. Space Marine guns. As well as regular guns and some few Melta weapons. Okay, I don't know anything about this. You don't know about Space Marine guns? No. He doesn't All right, know I'll bite. Marine swords. I'll bite. Oh. There we go. So yeah, you see, you see on the weapon itself a little little red raven type figurine on it. Um, oh yeah, blood ravens. Magpies. No, it's not a blood raven. You don't oh. see a blood raven. Mm -hmm. it's, a very, it's a different emblem, so... Uh, blood it... angels? No. So, Rook okay. you're, you're, you're looking at it, you can you can somewhat discern that the, whoever owned this weapon, uh, they left whatever chapter and formed a new chapter, essentially. What? And that's what they're it's signifying on the weapon. Oh. Do I know the, anything uh, about they, either of the chapters that they left her? This uh, chapter, formed? no. As far as you're you're aware, it'd be a newly formed chapter of some kind. You could tell that was an Evan Drake weapon <laughs> at some point in its history, and you see that kind of etched out. And then with the word uh, something faded, you're not sure what it is, but it looks I like wipe the dust off of it. It's faded. It's long faded. This is a very rusted weapon. Paint's long faded, but you do see the little red, red raven, the blue helix around it. Is it a raven guard uh, symbol? Yeah. No. Okay. No known chapter you can think of. Got it. I mean the chapter that uh, that was uh, on there before they changed it. Evan Drake's. Eben Drakes? Okay. Yeah, that one you do know. That one you recognize immediately. Eben Drakes. In fact, you guys know on coming on this mission that the rogue uh, base marine that you're hunting down was part of the Eben Drakes. So whoever these guys are left the Eben Drakes. Huh. Very interesting. I relay this Indeed. information to the team. So, 
Yeah, uh, go ahead and do logic or intelligence or you can do another lore check. I can whatever, do intelligence, logic, scrutiny, lore, yeah. doesn't matter. Well, scrutiny, you can just be looking at it, but I'm just, okay. the character's deducing something, so... Alright, I would assume that's lore, then. It's Stardis? Yeah, do a Stardis. You can, you can assume something. Just your assumption is Your assumption is that these are loyalists. That's the fact of the Ebon Drakes. Ah... Alright, I relay that information to the rest of the team. And you definitely know they would still technically, if if they survive at all the hundred years, they'd still technically be alive since they're space marines. Yeah. So. True. Ah. I see. Yeah, well, there's also what? no female space marines yet. We have one, so back, back to the gate. Deal right. with it. There are well, female are space marines. No, 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 no. I get it. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, right. yeah. Just, just a, a little bit of trivia. That's not how that works. What? Adeptus sororitas are normal people in power armor. Yep. Oh. They're not genetically modified super people. Oh. Damn. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Even though technically women can be space marines, it's just less likely that they succeed in the uh, surgery. Actually, yeah. that's really about the only reason. Actually, okay. the adeptus, the adeptus sororitas, uh, not being genetically modified is a good thing because that means uh, the females would still have all their gonads. They wouldn't be castrated. They're super religious. <laughs> Yeah. And they're married to the Emperor, and only are, the Emperor. They are literal battle nuns. Battle nuns? We guys going? Battle yes. nuns. Yes, battle oh. nuns. Sh sh they disembowel you. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, so, man, I wanted some Adeptus Sororitas yeah, pussy. It. Damn it. You, you don't have anything to do with that anyway. <laughs> uh, kidding. Door of Dorothy, right? Yep, Dorothy's yeah. Yep. Throwing Dana myself door. down this hallway. Uh, let's go to the right first. I tried well, to open I the mean, door. I mean, this, this is a dead end. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, go up. We'll, we'll go to the left. <laughs> Dead end. Also okay. a dead end. Nope. So the door opens. Another door beyond the door. Damn. Okay, it's a four way. When one door opens, another door opens. Are there like three doors or is it just to the top? There's three doors. Three doors. Real right. fake Let's doors. The... Pick a door. I suggest to the right. one of the corners. Hang on. There's three doors, right? Yep. It's too late. We're opening this one. Uh, all right. Let's open uh, door one. <laughs> this this is door one now. Oh, yep, okay. This is door one now. Oh, look at this. A dead end. We're going back. Door two is directly across from door so, one because we're doing good. And what's behind yeah, door I one? Just, a dead I end. Bring, bring, do, do. Wow. As you come in, uh, you see that this was... Uh, Seems to be medical supplies, various cargo, weapons, Anything ammo. Anything worth a lot, taking? A lot of that. A lot of supplies. Okay. Um, you're looking around. It looks very old and rusty. Yeah, very most old. of the medical supplies are probably expired. Fact, Bandages should still be usable. In fact, you see, like, through the roof, that uh, part of the roof has caved in a little bit. Ah. I okay. am going to radio back to the uh, dropship. They hail, hail you back? Alright. I'm going to have a few people go in and grab some of the weapons on the wall that we found back there. Okay. And see if and they, they can find any medical supplies as we're scavenging in here. Yeah, the weapons are on uh, the wall. It's like the writing is on the wall, but they're weapons. 
Oh, I'm wow. opening the door. So, uh, you can probably write this down. They're able to find at least three med kits that they say that could possibly be used out of all that. Uh, and they found uh, at least a hundred lounge rifles. And they found four total uh, Space Marine armaments. And a rocket launcher. Alright, load it all back onto the dropship. Okay. Yeah. All of it appears battle damaged. So, which one are you going? Left? I mean, worst case scenario, we can salvage it for scrap or whatever, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, we can. We're 100 years in the future, separated from the rest of the Imperium. We don't know what's going on. This is actually pretty good. But in Warhammer 40k lore, can you travel backwards in time, or is it only forwards? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes, you can actually, yeah, uh, you can even appear... Remember our angry friend's spacesuit? How do you think that got there? Oh. By traveling forwards in time, of course. Yes, forwards yeah, so yes. far <laughs> in time, like Futurama, that he looped around. <laughs> yeah. That is a theory on how the universe works. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mobius so this is, is pretty long. possible. Yeah, this is a pretty long passage. We probably should check out the upper one before we proceed any further. I go back and check the other passage. I look what's behind door number two. That was door number three. Yeah, that's door number three. Yes. I, I'm looking behind this door, Boko. What door? One I'm pinging. All the way back at the four-way intersection. Oh, okay. Six chaos demons jump out, grab you, and you can't make a sound, you're dead. <laughs> God, that would suck. Are right, you by yourself? Yeah. Okay. But I'm still within yeah, vox vox range of the rest of everyone else. Should I open this door? Yeah. Oh God. So roll for initiative there. Uh, <laughs> uh, Do you let everyone know? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you hear static. We just hear static. This is oh. your fault, Karnoff. Yeah, you hear static. Yeah. You, like, like someone's trying to do something. That's all you know. Hey, Damn it. rookie. All right, let's I'm see. Gonna go, just, but go back and check. Just gonna casually stroll back. No care, yeah. no learn. All right, roll for static, uh, initiative. Sure Hang on. Okay. There we go. Uh, oh, what's my speed, hello? Actually, should we all roll initiative, or is it just him? Just him. Oh boy. So, how far away are you guys from him? How much did Now, if it's just you going back, or is the whole team I just heading back? I was also turning back? around, too. I was just going to... Okay, this is how much I moved. I'm going to be starting here. So, can I do, like, a... Uh... Xeno's check to see what the what fuck these are? For it. I am... Six rounds of running at full speed away. Did you get a jump pack? Oh, I did. All right, what are these uh, Megatron-looking like things? Movement. You have no clue. You just Here. see giant silver, organic-looking things with giant plates of armor, glowing blue eyes. It appears to be claws and cannons. But do they have blonde hair and blue eyes? No, like oh, glowing not, blue eyes. You see piercing. They're not that's space the Hitler Uber Manx, then. You see just piercing blue eyes staring straight at you. No, in that case, I'm three rounds away. Double movement. Yeah. Uh. I don't know what these things are, so I'm gonna try and disengage. What do I need to do for that? I think it's a full, uh, you declare that, and it's just you use a full move, and you move away, and that's all you can do. Alright, well, my initiative is 21, so if I didn't roll higher than these guys, then it's a moot point. Mm -hmm. Boko, I'm assuming you're doing their initiative roll? Yeah, give me a second. Alright. I have about 15 minutes left, by the way. 5-0 or 1-5? Five, 5-0. Five. 
one five. Ah. Honestly, this might be a good stopping point if I can't disengage right away. Oh. Maybe. We can still keep going. Uh, let's see. What do I need? Initiative? Let's see. Was it, uh... Was that agility modifier? Yes. Plus a d10, I think. Yeah, 1d10 plus agility modifier plus any other modifier if they have any. Oh yeah, they failed. Booyah. Actually, they couldn't have succeeded that if they tried. Because so, maximum 15, I'd kind of auto-win that, being 21. Okay, I'm going to disengage. Use full action to run the fuck away from that. Fuck a lot of that. Do I have to roll anything? No, you just run, so whatever your run is. I'm assuming you're running from these things, because they yes. look... They look very big compared to you. I wonder if they're dreadnoughts. Yeah, I'm out of there. Fuck that. I I also uh Is that as far as you can move right there? Uh let's see. So you move from here to there. Yeah, so that's about sixteen meters, so let's see. Fourteen point three, so you have a yeah, my right. my full my full move is uh, fourteen, but my run is forty two. Then I'm assuming you're doing the full run. Yes, I'm getting the fuck the out. The character of there. breaks off from melee combat and may take a. So, are you in melee combat right now? No, I opened a door and they were it's... on the other side. You can just run then. You can just yeah. Run. All right, I ran. Run. Okay, so it is now their turn. So. Oh, they're gonna chase us down, aren't they? Did you close the door behind you? I thought about doing that. Okay, so yeah, he can usually catch up to you. Oh my god. They, they have a run What's of the that can. They, they have a run of 60, so. Oh boy. Uh I uh frantically uh try to radio the rest of the team over Vox comms. Static is, static is all you hear. Damn, and they're all, jamming you the You know comms. your box not working. You hear nothing. And your other team, they're getting they're getting static every time you try to come into them. So your characters would obviously deduce that there's something wrong and someone's trying to get a hold of you. And mm -hmm. that someone would be rookie, so you, your characters would be making their way back. Okay. Uh, go ahead and move other team. Move your distances and speed and then... Uh, it's going to be Rookie moves again, and these guys are going to go move. So who's moving? They're going to move, and then... Uh... Then you, yeah, they're moving as All one right. block. And Got then it. as soon as they come in contact, they can roll initiative. Got it. As far as they have not get, got eyes on you, what you're seeing yet, they don't even know they exist. Oh, wait, we were moving. Oh, hold on. Oops. But just one round of moves. Uh, I'm just doing full moves. There you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Now you see it. All right. Uh, initiative. Right. Uh-oh. Wait, is, is, is there initiative 8? Oh, so I go before them. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, I thought their initiative was 15 for a second, because I'm an idiot. Alright, uh... 
Am I waiting? Are we, are we waiting for others, or uh, are we waiting for did their I, turn? Did everyone move? Yep. Is uh, everyone you move? up around the corner? It should be your you should be going now, right now. So they're chasing. They caught up to you. They're chasing you. Yeah, they're chasing down. you. Yeah. Yeah. So it's now your turn again. They're not in melee range with me, are they? No. They're right. just caught up to you. You can go further behind. You should go further behind. Alright, I round the and corner, and uh, if my Vox comms are not working, then I'm going to take my helmet off to shout at you guys. You probably speak with the helmet on. Yeah, you can uh, speak yeah. with the helmet Oh, okay. On. Yeah, I do that then. They're coming! I don't know what they are, but they're coming! That's what she said. <laughs> Damn, okay. she was into some uh, bukake, huh? So, it is their go. Because I'm assuming you moved. Okay, they're going to attack... Should it be Karnoth's turn next? Yeah, after... after it. Oh, well, that's right. I moved up. You I moved mean, up. Um, you moved up, and then now it goes to the turn order now. Yep. All right. Uh, Would be Karnoth, then then him. So then, in that case, I stand still. I raise my sword and uh, and I enter defensive stance. I end my turn. And they're within half half range. So they get what a plus twenty on that. If they try to outnumber me, they will not be able to do so. I have a talent. No, push. they're they're you see them they're raise shoot you. you see them raise their, their arms at you. Uh so I'll shoot all of them. All four are gonna shoot at you. Okay. <sighs> all four hit. Can you can you dodge four times? Uh, I. You have a uh, shield. I do have a shield. Let's see. Like, do they only shoot once? Do they shoot multiple times? Um, once. Okay. Uh, let's see. And there's their damages. I block the first two. Uh, the first and the last. Uh. I guess I could just dodge the other ones. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where was it? There it is. You have the trait that gives you a second dodge? I, oh, actually, yes, I do. Uh, I forgot Love about that. Love that trait. Love that one. There you go. There you go. Nice, no damage. Good job. Uh, That's a tank for you. I simply dodge and weave in place. Yeah, and you see what he saw. You see silver metallic blue, piercing blue eyes. And you just see them kind of like shape-shifting a little bit as they're shooting at you with those cannons. So. <clears throat> well, they see back uh, the tall black figure with burning red eyes, piercing red eyes, staring back. It's gonna be a contest. Yeah, I guess it is. And so they round the corner. So you hear nothing but stack either now. By the way, you're trying to t trying to talk to other people as well. I imagine. Uh, well, well I. But yeah, everyone I mean, else like... seems that there's laser fire. So you guys yeah. can all roll for initiative now. I no, Garnoff would not speak. No. So, I, yeah, however, but, yeah. am still trying to speak, assuming I have no idea that the Voxcoms are generating nope, static. Nothing. Alright. And let me print out the turn order as well. I think now, since we got it going. I don't know why I didn't turn that on in the first place. Hey, at least it saved it. Oh, that is kind of neat. Uh... Uh, 
Fear line. Eric Lady's lit. Oh, why is that that sword number 25? Crom's out here. Dominagus, I can't. That looks correct. Okay, so Brasora, go. Do a couple rounds of combat and then we can end it there. Mm hmm. By the way, that oh, okay, 37, penetration 15, uh, if that would, uh, would have hit me in the chest, I could have tanked that. Yeah, take cover behind this wall here. So, Boca, are these humanoid things? Like, do they, they have they look vague, robot, right? vague semblance to two arms, two legs. Okay, got uh, it. You see that they're, they look very metallic and organic, and you, when they fired those weapons, you saw those those lasers kind of just like the, like uh, the T one thousand just kind of like form out of their arm and blast you. Ah, uh, yeah. So, from what you're deducing, if you do a logical check, you. They can probably well, my, alter their form. Yeah, the reason I'm asking is because uh, if I do like a called shot, can it? Can I try and shoot him in the head or whatever? Sure. All right. Whether or not we'll do anything is different. True. Yeah. Because for all I know, they're just humanoids, and I can shoot them in the head. Sure. You see what seems to be a head, because they have glowing eyes, piercing blue eyes. You see that. Um... Oh, oh, uh, do they have the Heart insignia? Fire, Zeno, scum. So you're shooting at them off? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, eight degrees of success. Holy shit. Right. So you see it what basically. Was again? Yeah. Uh, two degree, two or more degrees of success gets a second hit. Sure. You you see that bounce off them. Oh. These are melta weapons. They bounced. Bounced right off. Uh oh. You, you see if what vaguely looks like some sort of shielding of some kind. But yeah, it like it bounced. All of it hit the or wall. Until you killed this. <laughs> hey, in my defense, I'm not the one who wanted to go back and check the door. That was Karnoth who suggested that. He remained silent. <laughs> Alrighty then, I'm gonna back the fuck up over here. I can move and shoot. Yay. Run and gun, XCOM. Mm -hmm. How so far is Heraclides? Oh my god, he's so very far. It's cool. Uh, we need psychic bullshit. I'll be right here. Stat. Oh, next turn. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad. On my current turn, I'll be right here. Energy and Milta. Yeah, all those bounce off. Is that Moth's turn? Yep. Yeah, it's Moth's turn. So, all right. rookie. Uh, I would I'm going you guys to around the corner and retreat so they come around. He him. is behind me. I am protecting him. I'm gonna do a called shot at this guy right I here. Think. I just mean so Eric ladies can get in range sooner and see them. You oh, well, I mean, this turn, this turn I'll get here. So I'll be in range to at least throw a, a shield down and support you guys, including a ballistic shield that'll prevent damage from coming in. Ballistics would prevent physical, though, wouldn't it? No, no, no. It's uh, all range damage. will hit the shield oh, and not, and uh, give us like an extra twenty armor. Ooh. And I can also boost that. I would negate their attacks with that shit. God damn. Mm-hmm. All right. So what is it? Minus twenty for a called shot. Yes. 
Uh, I'm spending a fate point to re-roll that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? You had something. Uh. Goddamn. I could survive one of those bio lasers at max damage with one HP remaining. <laughs> if that ballistic shield was up. Do you want but to spend it. a turn to aim first? Do I what? Uh, you, uh, your weapon, uh, stalker bolt gun, has an accurate uh, thing, uh, accurate keyword. Uh, oh, which yeah. You spend a turn aiming, you get bonuses. Yeah, yeah I'll spend a turn there aiming. Go, it's in your DMs. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, you can also like do a half action to aim. Uh, hold on. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna read it. Hold on. Sorry, my twin link belt the shotguns have a thing where they gain plus one hit from every degree of success, thanks to that scatter quality. Mm, scatter if it's up close. If it's within cl within close range, they were almost half range of the weapon, or like a uh, point blank range, close to something like that. Ah. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah. So basically, you can take a half action to aim. It will give you plus twenty instead of plus ten. Uh, and if you hit for every degree of success, uh, you deal more damage. Uh, that's right. Alright, so I will do that then. You can take half an action, which will give you plus 20 to hit. Which one increases the damage again? Full action? Uh, they both. They both do that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take a half action then to aim. And then I'm guessing I can shoot again in the same turn. Uh, yeah, you can uh, shoot. I think it's only a normal shot that you can do. Let me see the cold shot. Yeah, cold shot is a full action. So you, if you want to aim, you're just going to uh, either just shoot blindly or wait a turn and shoot the head or something. So this will be a uh, flat roll then and uh, won't be a cold shot. Uh... No, it will be, since you were doing a cold shot, uh, oh. you will have a plus 20 overall. Okay. It wouldn't be flat? No, because you're not doing a cold shot right now. You're just doing oh, a normal, yeah, yeah, yeah. A normal okay. shot. All also, right. uh, you're within half range, so you get another plus 10. So that's plus 30 uh, in total. Uh... So I that to do. that means so, okay, the eight point so, three degrees of success. Yes, uh, and so whatever damage you roll, you add a another two d tens to it. Add two d ten. Holy shit! Yep. So and then see that round. Hold on. Now Hold on. impact. Now hang on, Boko. I do want right. to throw something in there. Throw something out there, Go rather. Uh, the, uh, the vengeance rounds have the felling properties, so they ignore, uh, one degree of unnatural toughness, if these guys have unnatural toughness. Okay. Also, you, d you score a Righteous Fury. Yep, go for it. Do your damage. Ooh, nice. So I'm gonna do another damage. Oh shit, I Righteous Fury too. Oh, well. I missed that. Okay, and that's another Righteous Fury. Are these aliens or demons? Yeah, don't oh. you have to confirm the hits on those? Uh, you sense no psychic presence whatsoever interacting with these things aliens. at all. Period. Okay, so aliens, so they're auto-confirmed. Alright. So, yeah, they're aliens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as, because all Moth right. confirmed that they're some sort of, he got a name, the Cervax. So, right, but I mean, just like mechanically, we auto confirm aliens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, Virlo, rookie. Yeah. You saw, you aimed. You're aiming at what? The head? Or what yes. you assume to be the head? And you. Uh, uh, pow, pow, pow. No, yeah. no, you were doing a normal shot. You're not. Oh, oh, head. yeah, yeah. That's okay. right. Yep. All right. Okay. Well, then you saw your round impact the target and then bounce off into the wall. Or all three. Really? Even though so it's, like, it's uh, felling? 
Yeah, that's correct. Huh. That's what All you're right. visualizing. That's what you're visually seeing. They seem to have some and, sort of energy barrier that even blocks melt rounds. Yep, melt and that, bolt that, rounds. That that it deflected those melts into the walls. And just, I think we need a psyker to deal with these. I'm coming. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't redirect his psychic energy back at him. Oh, God. He hasn't detected any psychicness, so as far as you know, no. All right, that is my turn. Okay, Eric Ladies. All right, so I could spend my entire turn moving up to where Moss character is, or I can cast a force uh, dome, which has the radius of where my measure stick currently is. Can you all see it? Yep. Yes. Yeah, yep, so if yep. you get behind that point, you'll be in the force dome and have an extra 20 armor. Because it takes me a full turn to activate it, or I can run to where Moth is. Uh, uh, they are... Okay, so uh, I'm going to intervene for a moment here. Yep. Uh, since it's going to be the end of your turn, beginning of mine, they're going to be attacking me, probably. Uh, and I'm going to be staying here. Uh, trying to make a sort of a choke point. Uh, I think you should move up, and I'm going to be the one soaking in the damage for now. All right, real well then. Yeah, that's why I was asking you to move back a little bit so they'd have to come around the corner to see you to fire at you. All right, there we go. You, they're still yeah, in a choke point either way. That was my turn. Hey, uh. <sighs> Hey, does that th which one is which one do you have eleven or eighteen? Is yours? Oh, you're eleven. Okay, so it has it has on there twice for some reason. Uh, and then Karnoth, go. Uh, I'm just gonna position myself to fully cover uh the the rookie. Uh, and that's gonna so be a defensive stance you can take. Okay. Not if I move. I'm gonna okay. be extra precautious and yeah. Oh, they. Uh, huh? Um, you just see. You see his um, laser, <laughs> giant cannon, and him peering at you. So, yeah. is this thing made out of the same material that those ships as in those space? Ships? As far as you can tell, yes. Okay. So you're going to dodge that? That explains a lot. I don't need to dodge that. Ah. Why's that? Because... because uh, How many hits is it going to make? Just one? Uh, just just one. Uh, it Ooh. is going to eviscerate Ooh. that area, though. Within a 30 meter that radius. Shield blocks it. Uh, does it? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, so you're protected, but anything within 30 meters is going to be vaporized. Whoa. Uh, 30 meters is itself. Yeah. Is itself. Yeah, I understand. Also, uh, mm, the, uh, l let me see something real quick. Hold on. Um, one second. I see. Boko just doesn't want to play this anymore. Uh, yes. That's not it. Yeah, Boko wants to, to kill fate, us fate all. Point it to to take cover and Shoot avoid. The floor? Yeah, I'll do fake no, point. No, to take cover behind and survive that damage. Uh, yeah. You are behind some cover there because it's not going to it's not going to vaporize a thirty meter hole uh, like a void weapon. It is going to make it a thirty meter explosion radius. So. Ah, we can I negate see. some of that damage. Yeah, I'm so spending a fate point to not die. To not die, we can we can negate. Uh, here, I'll roll because yeah. So. So spend a fate point or burn a fate point for this? It'd be spend. Okay. Uh, just want to double check. Is it just one person doing it, or everybody in the radius? Everyone within the radius. So, uh, or actually, hold up. Who's next? Who's Virlo? I don't know. You might be just screwed here. No, I used the fake point. Well, he is taking. Oh wait, he can take behind behind you. behind you. So yeah, yeah. that's that's ah uh, yeah. 
So oh. 100 divided by 20. The damage you'll take. That would be 100 divided by 20 is two. But okay. <laughs> no, it'd be five. Oh yeah, you can tell ask me. Be five da five five wounds you're taking or whatever. 100 divided by 50 would be two, Moth. All right. Yeah. Be five wounds instead of dying outright. Okay, I can live with that. Yep. Yep. Yep, technically you can. <laughs> what about uh, the rest of us? There we go. Hold on. So, I take five wounds. Yeah. I can only do that what I just did once, so. We don't know that. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm letting you know that as players that it's not auto fire BS trying to kill you guys, but it can do that once. If it had more minions to form up, it could do it again. Oh. So. It okay, so what about, blew what about the blast you were talking about? The 30 meter range blast? That's what that's what the five wounds is. Oh, so we all just take five wounds? That's correct. Instead of dying outright. Instead oh, of taking 100 damage. I thought I was just yeah. taking five wounds. No, no, no. Everyone. Got it. Everyone got on it. the last race takes five wounds rather than outright dying. Got it, mm. got it, got it. All right. Any... Except for except for you, you're the Dan, because your character absorbed all that, right? Uh, so okay, so um, I was reading like trying to find specific wording of how everyone. Uh, everyone in the blast radius. Oh well. You are way outside that, oh, and I think you had a shield. You had a shield too. Yeah, well, so. Well, are we? Sure. We are totally not. Oh, no, you're within meters. that. No, 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 no. Yelmug. Yeah. Yelmug. Yelmug put up a shield, right? You put up a no, shield. No, no, I moved. No. He's right here. Oh shit! I thought you put a shield up. Okay. No, nope. no. So I also need to roll my uh, my power field. Okay, roll your power field, and then you can negate all the damage. No, take no. Oh, sort of a bitch. Don't I have a power field in my armor now? Well then. I'm gonna fake point that. If you have power oh, shit. I think I think you still. Oh wait, no, you don't. Yeah. You no, don't. it's gonna be uh, under fifty. Yeah, uh, you Mod. can have my fate point. Sweet. Mod, the city of a power field. Oh my god! I, do. I just don't remember where I wrote it down. Didn't actually. you have a fifty? Oh, <sighs> come it's on. not a storm shield. It's an iron halo, so it's fifty and below. Mm. And why do we want to give him a fate point roll again? Uh, that was my only fate point. I'll so give him a fate point. Yeah. Sweet. Down to one now. Oh my god. Ah, nope, it's an icon of the just. Sorry, is this a uh, demon? God. Okay, so how does it work again? You just. It, it, that. It just 20 wounds are applied to your character? Or no, no, how does it work? Five. I was doing 100 divided by that number I put up there. Because I was. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was going 100 and then I rolled a D1 1 200. Because I would be. I was trying to be fair here, not ev eviscerate you guys. And then divide well, yeah, by fair. the number. Fair, wait, it. what happens if you die to divide 100 by 200? Huh? So you're saying no. it's doing 20 damage to each of Half your health? No, no, no. No, what? Half of a point of damage. He rolled a 200. He rolled a, a, a D200, and it came up 20. Yeah. So it's 100 divided yeah, by yeah, 20, yeah, yeah. which is No, five. no, I, I get that. I'm just saying if he had rolled 200... Would that be half your health and damage? Half a, no, or half, half, a half a point of damage? Half a point. Half, half a point. So it'd be zero. It'd be zero. It'd be zero. <laughs> Half so that's a point I'm to be rounded fair to down. You guys, rather than you take the full 100 damage yell mug there, uh -huh. the the cannon, I divided that by 20, and I was like, that's that's the amount of damage you take. So yell mug took so five 20, damage. So that's 20 with a pen of 10. No, no it's you, five oh, it's with five a five damage. Infinity. Yeah. Okay. Because the 100 still hits you. I'm just negating. Some of that damage by you guys taking cover and doing various things to negate some of that damage. And also, oh, it but hit capping, the of my and capping, shield. yeah, and capping all that damage to five wounds maximum. So if you can tank majority of that, I'm oh, pretty right. sure so we, we can all tank five, five wounds. wounds. Okay, that's yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. So ju I got just, 23. Just, I'm only taking five. I'm okay with that. Just one right. This uh, this creature isn't a demon by any chance, is it? N no. Okay, so then my power field does nothing. It's a Xeno. I have an icon of the just that makes it it's a power field for anti-demon shit. It is not because demon. Because I build full anti-demon. Right. 
Nope. As far as you can tell, it is alien bullshit. All right. Okay. Uh, I as far as I can tell, it's alien bullshit, brothers. Yeah. yeah. I singed uh, my eyebrows. The bastard. If you, <laughs> if you want, Des, you can con get control of my character. Uh, but yeah, I need oh, to go right now. Yeah, I think we're gonna we stop, stop here. Oh, yeah. we're gonna stop. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. Boko has got places to be too, right? Boko? I gotta, I gotta go fighter practice. I gotta take a shower. Yeah. Not smell like dookie. And then go get beat up after. So what's the point? What's the point? I don't want to offend their noses. What what what's the point? Their noses in the middle of it anyway. What's the yeah, point of taking good. a shower if you're just going to get dirty again? I like to feel clean exactly. in uh, combat. It's just it's a religious thing. Anyways. Yeah, yes, cleanliness right, um, is next to godliness. Oh, well then you need to fast for a day too. 500 to battle. What are you doing? 500 XP. 500. Oh, All right. Sweet. So, do you think you guys survive this thing? Fuck oh, I know. We can't damage it, so... Well, no, as you far as you know, it in range, not in melee. Not in glorious melee. True. Okay. Ugh, I got an yeah. anti-demon power sword. I have yet to attack it. <laughs> yeah, true. You want to attack it? Well, no, no, no. no. We'll stop now. I'm just saying, like... Yeah. I have yet to throw anything to attempt to damage it yet. Yeah, exactly. It's also a metallic robot. We don't know if Psycho shit even works. Well, if it is a robot, then I can affect it. Yeah, those sharks. Well, also I can stun it for like ten round or uh, ten rounds, which uh, is enough for us to get yeah. away. If it's if it's, <laughs> if it's technology, I can stun it for ten rounds. We're also assuming it's on a damage absorption shield that'll eventually just stop working after it absorbs so much damage. Hey, even void shields can only take so much. Keep firing. All right. More. Okay. Game, all right, please. sweet. Good game. See you all next week. See you next week. All right. Nice. Cheers.